Get lost. What? Who in oblivion? Get lost. What? Who in oblivion? My husband, Galund, went fishing yesterday morning. He never came home. I went looking for him this morning with my dog, and now my dog has wandered off. No, I'm not. The last place I saw Rexis was near our mill, just north of here. Take this whistle. Use it when you get over there. I'll wait here in case he comes home. My husband, Galund, went fishing yesterday. sank off the coast in a storm. It was unnatural. I saw colors I've never seen before. I drifted for hours on a plank. I thought I was dead. Just give me a second, and I'll head back home. I'll lean on Rexus when I get tired. 
Palmyra will be worried sick. Thank you. One good turn. Are you then? One good turn deserves. Are you then? The manifest is full, but walk with the three. Somerset's days of ice. We still have room if you expect. Well? Over here, Initiate. If you have a moment, I would appreciate a word. Pardon my intrusion, but... I would speak to you on behalf of Queen Argella. I am her handmaiden. The Queen has heard of your recent accomplishments, and she asked me to make a private request on her behalf. He is. The Queen stepped aside, but she remains the rightful ruler of the kingdom, and she still cares deeply for its people. Even now, in mourning, she attends to wounded soldiers and refugees in the chapel, but she has other concerns as well. 
Quite frankly, she's concerned about the city's defenses. But of course, she cannot publicly question the Duke's policies. This is why we were hoping you could discreetly investigate to see if there's any merit to some of the rumors we've heard. Her Majesty would ask you to inspect the defenses at the East Gate and ask the former guard captain, Sir Jarnet, for his assessment of the Duke's strategy. If you are willing, the Queen also wishes to know why a refugee was put in the stocks. I know Her Majesty would appreciate if you gave these matters the highest priority. After you've completed your investigation, come speak to the Queen at the Chapel of St. Pelin. If there are problems, she should know as soon as possible. Sadly, I expect you are most likely to find him in the tavern, drinking away his sorrows. After Princess Alara was killed while under his protection, the Queen herself demanded he step down. He was crushed. By no means does she wish to reinstate him, but Sir Jarnet was the captain of the guard here in Evermore for more than a decade. He was a longtime friend of King Eamond as well. The Queen simply wants to hear his assessment of the city's defenses. With the city in such dire straits, the Queen is determined to avoid controversy. If people heard she was inquiring as to the state of the city's defenses, there would be an uproar. If you can... If we knew that, we wouldn't have to ask for your assistance. The bottom line is that the Queen deferred to Duke Renshin because she believed he was better suited to defend the city. Now, she simply wants to make sure he's doing a good job. Just vague rumors. Let's face it, our forces were devastated in the last battle with the Reachmen, and there is no doubt our defenses are stretched thin. We just want to make sure that everything possible is being done to protect the city. This is absurd. I've committed no crime. And they're just gonna leave me here. I would say to rot, but I will never get that chance. I'll be speared through when the city is taken. And then these damn crows will eat my remains. For speaking the truth, nothing more. The Imperial Army has just conquered the largest city in southern Bankerai. And mark my words. They will come here next, because I have just come from Holland Stan. The Imperials infiltrated the city and seized it overnight. They enslaved half the population. They will do the same here. But when I suggested this to the guards, they locked me up. They said I was spreading half-truths and paranoid delusions. They said the people here have had enough fear with the Reachmen. And cannot afford to hear my ravings. Please, you must get me out of here. I don't want to be eaten by crows. You're being silenced. It is the people who are shackled. The people eye the north with fearful eyes. But it's from the south with an open mind. One hears truth, however dark. No! The telling has already been done. I am here to listen and to watch. I'm a crow. What more do you need to know? Work builds character, they say.
know what I see, but it is not me who needs to know. It's you. I know this is a desperate city in desperate times, but this is not the gift the city needs. Are you? Can't you see I'm having a drink with my friend here? Might as well embrace the crows. They're here to stay. If anyone goes, it'll be us, not them. With 15 guards and a couple quivers of arrows? Not a chance. Everyone's dead. The king, the prince, the knights and soldiers. The job's almost done, just a few stragglers left. You know who I'm talking about? Me and you, that's who. Renchant, sure. He's realistic, at least. He knows we can't last a day unless we get some help from the outside. Of course, the new guard captain, Huron, doesn't seem to want any help. The loud brushed off an offer from the Fighters Guild. Sure enough, Huron said he's exploring other options. Don't know what those options are. Don't hear much down here, though. Say, so why don't you ask the crow? I swear the thing's talking. Probably knows more than we do. More than me, at least. in the tops of towers. Check the bottoms of bottles. One can witness the larger view from on high, but one must come down below to see what hides. Shadows. The light hides in shadows, but only there can it shed on secrets. A secret hole is no secret, but all knowledge has its time. Our doom is
So much suffering. So much death. Like my husband and my children, this soldier gave her life forevermore. I wish I could offer her more comfort, but I can only pray with her to gods whose mercy I have come to doubt. Many others are enduring similar losses. I deserve no more compassion than they do. In truth, knowing they share my grief has been a great consolation. You are not here for grieving, though. Is there some official business that demands my attention? Oh, of course. Glerica told me. I hope you'll forgive her. Her intentions are good, but she misled you. That request was not on my behalf. She can't seem to accept my decision to step aside and let Duke Wrenchin handle all matters of state. I would, but at another time. I hope you understand. Losing my family... I just need time, and I believe this is how I can best serve the people right now. If you have concerns about security, though, you must report them to the Duke. Thank you for respecting my wishes. Perhaps you can convince Glerica to do the same. She's already off again, investigating some ship at the docks. These matters are the Duke's concern now, and he has my support. He'll appreciate your help, though. Why must I suffer so? That is indeed an immense relief, Yorin. Give us room to breathe. But it doesn't mean we can rest on our laurels. I know. It's only one victory, Your Grace, but I hope it's a sign of more to come. I do too, but that's going to require more work on both our parts, and, and there's nothing for it but to get it done. You're dismissed, Captain. Whatever shall I do? Uh-huh. You must be the hero whose bold deeds Captain Huron was just recounting. Retaking the lighthouse may seem trivial, but in times like these, it's huge. Say, you look like someone I've been hearing quite a bit about. May I ask your name? As I expected, your reputation precedes you. You've become something of a legend in the kingdoms of the Daggerfall Covenant. You're certainly welcome in Evermore. These are desperate times. Have you seen much of the city? Indeed. Then by all means, tell me what you discovered. Oh, yes, I'm well aware of this. It's unfortunate, but the terms the Guild demanded were downright rapacious. Furthermore, the number of mercenaries they could actually muster was almost insignificant. It simply wasn't worth it. I opened our gates to the refugees, but there are limits, and that man was completely mad. Standing outside the castle, shouting that we were all going to die? The people of Evermore are terrified already. We can't afford such nonsense. So you saw those? You are very perceptive. The truth is that we found an ally to help defend the city. I'm not quite ready to make this information public, though. Yes, that is the ship that transported the supplies. There are more supplies being offloaded even now. Please, if you'll just be patient, I'll share all the details in due time. For now, you must stay away from that ship, though. It's off limits. Listen. I can tell that you have an inquisitive nature, and I know your intentions are good, but I cannot risk revealing all my plans just yet. Suffice to say, I've found a way to protect the city from the Reachmen, and that is what matters. I'm sure that you realize that with the Reachmen bearing down on us, I have a great many matters to attend to. 
I absolutely do not wish to be rude, but I must be going. Come back another time, and I will endeavor to answer all your questions. Are you sure that's wise? There truly is a hex on this town. Doing slinking around my ship. Funny boat! Funny business! I want to see what's in the hole, too! Hmm. Crows on the ship, and the crows on the shore. South Button City Wall. One carries the key to open the door. Approach it there, though. Drunk sailors can be salty! I don't take kindly to people snooping around my dice game. Nothing personal, but you'll Blank, have to die. Now. I think perhaps I had our assignments wrong. I should have checked the stocks and sent you to check the ship. I shouldn't have come here on my own, but I had a feeling the Duke was making bad decisions. Of course, calling this a bad decision would be an understatement. If we don't do something, he's going to hand the city over to Imperial control. The Queen is going to have to take charge. If this doesn't knock her into her senses, I don't know what will. We need proof, though. Can you untie me and then look around? Anything to prove what they're planning. I'll meet you out on the docks.
down. You just missed it. The ship's captain left the ship and headed toward that alley to the south. She looked like she was in a hurry. What did you find, though? Anything that re The gar-bellied bastards! I knew that ship was carrying more than just supplies. We need to move fast. Can you follow the captain and find out what she's up to? Then take the proof to the Queen. If this doesn't wake her up, nothing will. I'll go and find Sir Jarnet and any other guards who remain loyal. After you've informed the Queen, come and meet me outside. Your cargo's unloaded, and I'm here for payment. I hope you don't come to regret this, Huron. If I come to regret this, I'd probably be dead anyways. I don't expect you to understand, Captain. Here's your payment. Thanks. When are you and your allies making your move? I want to make sure I'm long gone by then. We're arming everyone up at the weapons cache in the South Alley in just a few hours. So I'd set sail right away. Kind speed you, Captain. Somehow, I had a feeling I'd see you again. Tell me, has Glerica gotten herself into trouble this time? Or is it that the Duke didn't take kindly to you questioning his decisions? Oh, come now, you can't expect me to believe that. Has Glerica resorted to trying to deceive me now? <laughs> this is a jest, right? Surely, Duke Renchant would never even consider such a thing. I can't believe what I'm reading. How could Renchant be such a fool? Has he given up on defending the kingdom and decided to accept the lesser of two evils? Th this is simply mad! Of course not. Though I can blame myself no less. I'm the one who trusted the fool. He's apparently just a damn coward. You know, Aemond told me Renshin was naive. You've now given me proof of this fact. If the Imperials take Bankrai, it will be a fatal blow to the Covenant. We can't allow Renshin to do this. Damn it. He's leaving me no choice but to take back the throne. I know Glerica will be pleased to hear that. Where is she, by the way? Smart girl. She always has been. I suppose I should have listened to her. Very well. We need to do this smoothly. The city has suffered enough. We don't want a battle in the streets. We need to take time to do this right. How much time do we have? Gods. There goes that idea. You must root out these spies right away, then. Do not use weapons, though. That will cause a panic, and I don't want that. Find Glerica and Sir Jarnet and figure out another way. After you've ensured the city is safe, meet me in the castle, and we'll deal with Duke Renchant. The poor fool probably doesn't even realize he's committed treason. May the gods keep you, my courageous friend. No, he needs to watch his cowardly little plan crumble first. I want him demoralized before we confront him. I also want to think about exactly what to say. It has to be good, you know. 